Welcome to an episode of Modern Bok. Thank you for joining me today. So, uh, Beta 3 is out, all those good things, and they have um, improved some of the, like, the player looks and stuff and all those good things. So I thought I'd go through a nice little player, uh, like actual player uh, gameplay. So I'm just going through playing some of the teams. Um, some of them like proper, more licensed things. They've got some better uh, models of the players for sure. So it, it's definitely looking a lot more fluid. But yeah, let's get into it. I'm just gonna pick some ran um, random uh, teams to go with here. So I'm just gonna pick two licensed teams. So at least it's, uh, I'll go with that. Um, so yeah. Now, I have already discussed in my previous video, so check it out, like how this menu's changed and some things I've added, which I appreciate. But yeah, let's get into some actual gameplay and how, how the game has changed and what the where the situations are improved. Um, one of the major things I have said is the ruck, the rucks uh, and the AI in the ruck is heavily improved. And that's, that's really good. I have played a little bit already. And notice one thing that is, it's actually a lot more it's it's, a, it's not as easy to pull a ball out of a ruck now you actually physically have to push a um sometimes it does but it's not obvious and uh, i find that a little like if you want to pull uh, the left analog stick uh, to actually just get the ball out you should be able to so now you're going to push a and then push it out and the yeah the ruck experience isn't is, is confusing it's not it's, it's not the same as most other games so i have to yeah it's got to get used to that when this is obviously me single player in my previous video i discussed the absences of some nice features for multiplayer stable features i mean st every game has the ability to choose to be part of the same team or have you assign your controllers to the team you want to play currently no there's no option for that as i explained in the previous video so please go check that out but yeah so this is just my a gameplay as you can see they have added night mode and i have put it on player view but and so it'll only be on my side the whole time and that's fine but I would actually still prefer player view to swap around if I don't have the ball to, to swap and have it that I defend with the bottom of the screen. But yeah, that's, um, that's my opinion. Uh, one criticism I have, AI, so I'm, this is amateur mode. I'm just trying to, because I want to kind of just have it that I have a little bit more control. Dangerous play, okay, out of nowhere. Uh, I, so I just want to kind of, so I can show more gameplay elements. I don't want to worry about the computer because yeah, some of the other stuff can get a little bit insane. Uh, so let's kick for goal here. So, this is probably one of the hardest mechanics of this game I have, I have had yet to master. A kick for three it, is, it is quite the challenge to get it perfect, but it is a nice experience. But the major missing part of kicking for goal is wind. There is no wind in this game, which I don't understand how they thought that that was a good idea. And I, oh, you've got to put that right along stick and actually keep it in the exact same place, otherwise that happens. No, terrible terrible kick guys i'm so sorry but yeah i don't know it's just a little bit tough to to manage at the moment and i i'm not loving that but it's fine it's one of those things um so we've got a mall here so with the mall oh there we go First of all. okay so you've got the, you've got now obviously the one one of the biggest things that the, so you'll see that that extract uh, option comes up a lot faster which i do appreciate because i felt the ruck play was rather slow previously and that that's that's definitely a um, a, a welcome addition. Uh, they have. Ooh, yeah, that's that's a little bit of an odd one. Like, how did I keep that ball? Oh, interception. Yeah. So I don't know. So, so at least that. Everybody's offside, guys. Stay back. You're offside. Okay. Oh gosh. Okay, I'm just going to run this up now. Yeah, so they have also um, now expressly said that because uh, people were questioning whether. There actually was um, side steps in that, but they have expressly stated it. I have tried it. It definitely is there. So it's not obvious. Oh, not going to um, Actually, how to, to... Obviously, it's a similar to the old rugby games where effectively you've got... Um, advantage lost. There we go. So uh, it's, it's a similar to how you actually have the with well, the previous games where you actually can... Use the right analog stick to, to do it. So that's good. They've chosen for a scrum. Scrums for me still take a little bit too long. Um, I'd really like them to be a little bit quicker. And this whole button masher thing feels like I'm playing a dance game. I don't need that in my life. Uh, this I, I don't have an issue with this mechanic. Although, yeah, I don't know. It's As you can see, the amateur level for me is way too easy. I get that it's amateur. But, yeah. And, yeah, yeah hook. So you've got your, it's a, I don't know, it's, it's a little bit too easy, but one of those things. The stamina has been greatly improved. Like the way that the stamina works in that is a lot better, and I appreciate that. 
some space on that side. But yeah, the passing, at least is, yeah, the passing you hardly ever really miss, which is, I guess, also part of the amateur settings and stuff. So yeah, it's it's one of those things that you you can mark. See, so there's a handoff, and that works quite well. Uh, it does slow you down quite a bit when you do it, which is fair. I mean, that's a little bit realistic. And the tackle animation is a lot less jarring now, as you can see. Like, they don't have this huge... A, it's really disrupting the play, these dangerous plays. They're, like, way more than they should be, but fine. Yeah, one of those things. Yeah, so no, this I'm not a fan of at all. And it's always the same, which I mean, like... I don't know, that just makes it repetitive and annoying. But yes. And there's a lot of RS and that. Like, I don't know, I'm not a fan of having to smash the RS button every time you want to... Um, how did I lose that scrum? Jeez, okay. See, nobody tackles automatically. So I was focusing there on talking to you guys and nobody tackles automatically. So yeah, at least something that's like, I don't know, previous games had that where you could at least have it that they would they would tackle comfortably and give you the option to at least only the major situations would you have to be okay i need to respond so i appreciate that obviously i'm not trying to go for huge strategy i'm literally trying to talk to you guys about the gameplay and all that stuff and we've already had a kick for goal so yeah i will put another game with like a proper pro level and show you how it is and there we go for offside but yeah, so I just want to do, I just want to go through here some of the gameplay options. It's it's definitely an improvement. There's a lot of, like the way that tackling happens now and the way that you at least have the advanced tackle option um, is much better. They definitely have improved that hugely. Um, so I do appreciate that. See, there you go. You, that, that's saying like the whole, the, 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 the speed of the game is much better than previous beaters with the fact that you've got... Um, the actual ability to pull out a ball much quicker they've sped that up much and the game speed is increased by that five percent that they said in the recent notes and you can feel it you can and i i appreciate that i just feel still that this still doesn't have the multiplayer like if you want to sit and uh, play with a bunch of guys in the uh, at, at the office or a bunch of friends it doesn't really have all the options for that yet and that worries me it really does Let's see if it'll curve in no, it will not. One of those things. But yes, so um, yeah, I'm just going to play until the half time here, and then uh, we can. I'll bring out another thing, just kind of just. But I thought I'd just showcase you guys. So if there's anything else you want to see from this game, missing like any features, probably the probably the best feature from this game, in my opinion. So I haven't focused on it is a line out. I can quickly do one now to give you an option. Oh, that's going to end the game now, so it's fine. I'm going to get this ball out and kick it out. So yeah, um, overall, that's kind of how the gameplay is now. I don't know what you guys feel about it. It's very interesting. I think that there's a, a huge amount of improvement, but especially when it comes to immersion, speed of play, and being able to challenge. But the camera angle situation when it comes to being able to play two players is still a big problem. Multiplayer, the fact that you can't play on the same team, big problem and the the all the extra button mashing for handling your players can get a little frustrating it just feels a little bit too much um focus more on the exciting parts of play there's no real like it's a normal pass to do an offload and i get that but it's very tough to handle the advanced tackle doesn't always work so i mean in that crunch moment you want it to work every time i get that it's just uh, it's a little at the moment it feels a little bit more luck than skill and maybe that'll improve with the games like refinement and the still beta, I get it. But and there's a lot to love about the game already, but it needs work still, especially in those multiplayer games. What did you guys think about this gameplay? The feeling, the how it all works out? Let me know in the comments down below. What do you want to see they add before the final release of the game? And yeah, I also want to give a shout out. Rugby Challenge 4. Um, the, they were gonna release in December also, but I've now announced that they're they, they're gonna delay it until early next year. So we'll have to wait and see when that comes out. I'm hoping they also do a beta program to give us a chance to see. Um, I think they were really trying to beat this game to market uh, as they have most of the Southern Hemisphere teams um, in their licensing. And that's fair. But uh, I'm glad that they're rather waiting to perfect it. And I'm hoping that I'm worried that Rugby 20 has gone a little bit too early out of these beaters and now are pushing themselves. They need to make sure that these multiplayer experiences are right. Otherwise, it'll really dampen the the experience of this game as i think the overall gameplay is strong enough that if they fix those it could be a real contender for a great rugby game but yeah guys 
Comment down below, share, subscribe, and all those good things. Cheers.